What makes a good co-founder? Three things. One, side projects. Two, work experience. And three, difficult times. Yeah, that's right, I said difficult times. So let's do number one, side projects. Side projects matter because it tells me whether this person actually has curiosities and has enough of a drive to act in those curiosities. And it's something I look for whenever I talk to potential co-founder candidates. You look for projects and not just talk, you look for actual evidence. And that's what I found with my current co-founder. He had enough of a curiosity to learn about photography and actually start an Instagram to showcase his photography. The second thing I look for is work experience. Now I'm not just talking about whether they worked at Google or Facebook, I'm talking about work experience of all kinds. So my current co-founder, when I met him, he was in a coding bootcamp. He had just graduated, but he had shown not only the ability to build side projects through different websites he was working on just out of interest, but he was working on the side as well at a restaurant. So that to me showed the ability to work well with people. So when you're looking at work experience, you're not just looking at whether this person has prestigious titles and companies on his or her resume, you're looking at whether this person is able to thrive in environments where they have to think quickly, they have to work with different people, and they have to face new challenges. One time, he spilt something on a customer and he had to deal with the fallout from that where he had to deal with a difficult boss and a customer as well, and also the shame and just embarrassment that comes from screwing up. Now to me, that told me that he had the soft skills required to confront the challenges of being in a startup environment, which is actually quite similar to being in like a restaurant environment. Now number three is my favorite one, how someone deals with uncertainty. Is there evidence of this person dealing with uncertainty, dealing with difficult times, and being able to come up with a solution to whatever problem they were facing? Now with my current co-founder, I saw that very quickly when he told me after graduating with an accounting degree, he didn't want to be an accountant. Now, a lot of people procrastinate in this situation. They think, okay, things will get better if I go down this path that I don't like and I just kind of like go with the flow. But what my co-founder did was different. He decided to go for something that was actually of interest to him. So what he did was he went to a coding bootcamp and he learned coding on the side. And that's how he got into one of the best coding boot camps in New York and eventually became a software engineer now for a big company. So dealing with uncertainty, it's an extremely important quality as a co-founder and you want to spot people who have this quality. So that's it for this video. Three things I look for in a good co-founder. Of course, there's far more to it than just three things, but these are three major indicators that show if someone is going to be a good co-founder. These three things are practical things I look for in co-founder candidates, and it's what allowed me to find my current co-founder. So if this resonated with you, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about these three criteria. Do you agree with them or do you not? What do you look for in a good co-founder? I would love to hear more about your thoughts if you think there was something I missed out. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.